Hello once again Spartan fans, Joe Cook here, joined by head coach Anthony Evans, the men's basketball team, and to recap a little bit, last time we were here in Joe Echoes Hall, Spartans took a loss to Moorhead State 75-69, a non-conference affair, but a game where Moorhead State was definitely hitting the three, 8 of 10 in the first half, but again your team battled back, chipped away and had a chance to go up uh, one point. 66-67 uh, was that score there with less than two minutes to go and some good looks at the rim just didn't go down in that game. Yeah, we did. You know, the more hit shot the ball really well in the first half. I think we did a better job defensively the second half. Uh, we had our opportunity, of course, but we had a couple layups that we missed. So as, as a team, we just have to learn how to execute a little bit better coming down the stretch. Just something to learn from. And I guess another thing, uh, that we've been seeing from this team is the ability of this team to really to really adapt to the game. We had shot a lot of threes. We should hit a lot of threes as well in that game. A little bit of a shootout. What do you think is uh, probably a better mark of a team? A team that can adapt to the game or a team that can always dictate, dictate their own pace during the game? A team that can adapt. You're, you're not always going to be able to dictate pace. Sometimes a team wants you to play fast. You can slow it down, be methodical. But a team that can adapt to an offensive set, personnel will be able to you know, overcome a lot in the game. Another big thing from that game was uh, the rebounding. Lost that rebounding battle by 9, 33-24. Uh, what do you think went into that? Because the Eagles were running a lot of zones. Right. Some matter just getting after the ball. Yeah. Or, yeah. It's just effort. You know, we, we've got to make it a conscious effort uh, from our wing guys, you know, from our post players to get in there and rebound the basketball offensively. And given how the game played out, probably the biggest uh, stat, the thing I said was the free throw shooting. 3 of 12 in the first half, finished 11 of 23. And I guess, you know, how, how many free throws has your team been shooting <laughs> since that game? A lot. A lot. You know, I mean, we go to Hampton and we, we make uh, a bunch of them. I think we shot 81% of the game. And then we come home and we miss a, a lot of free throws, which were the difference in the game. So it's just concentration. We've got to concentrate when we go to the free throw line. We've got to knock them down. And another, uh, another game where you're going to have to definitely concentrate Saturday hosting Morgan State this time, pair of rematches. Morgan State on Saturday, Coppin State on Monday. Given this, uh, you know, big rematch, went over there, double overtime victory, 90 to 89. In that game, even though it went to double overtime, what do you want your team to do differently in this home game that it didn't do in the away contest? We have to start off better. Uh, Dwayne Jackson, you know, he, he shot the ball extremely well in the first half. Can't allow him to come in here and get 33 points, 40 points. So we have to do a good job against him, slow him down, and, and to make sure we, we kind of control the game defensively. Yeah, and another thing defensively, your team has one of the good things your team has been able to do is play good defense without fouling. But a couple of late game situations, especially in that Morgan State game, the double overtime, Eric Brooks was able to get to free throw line to send each uh, get each uh, overtime period into another overtime period. Right. So what are you, uh, I guess, preaching your team in practice about being heady and making the smart plays in late game situations? Just knowing time to score. You know, in, in the situation, I know when Brooks went to uh, shoot a three-point shot and, and we were too close to him in the referee corner foul. But we have to be smart. You know, at that point, if he hadn't hit a three-pointer all game long, if, if he knocked one down with a hand in his face, then it was to be. So we have to be smart coming down the stretch of games, understanding time to score that situation. And then another team that the Spartans are hosting is Coppin State. Team a little bit up and down this year, but a team that can put up a bunch of points in a hurry. Um, Michael Harper's coming up with a uh, highest career high 30 points against the Pirates. And of course you have Tony Gallo and basically a team where everyone has the ability to hit the three-pointer, but we got a victory 74-66 in their house. And what, what I saw from there was a great display of team closing out on shooters. That's something that's going to have to continue, especially this whole, this whole game. Oh, yeah, I, I watched their game against North Carolina a &T, and they were down 20 points. They came back and put the game in overtime. So they, they can score in bunches. They have to do a good job again of limiting Harper, of limiting Gallo, making sure we're out on three-point shooters, and, and controlling dribble penetration. That's, that's one of the things they love to do, pick and pop. So we've got to control dribble penetration. And I guess uh, another thing, I guess I want to talk to you about a little bit, Coach, was uh, this team went on a three-game uh, road swing, very important road swing, and came out on top getting those three victories on the road. 
then more stayed at home, seen a little bit of a step, a step up. Do you think after such a, uh, I guess a, you know, a tremendous roast when you come back home, teams get a little bit, a little bit too comfortable? Yeah, yeah. I, I think you know they, they came in, they were playing well. Um, you know, we had come off an emotional win in Tampa, of course, and you know they, they, I think they caught us off guard a little bit. I think they caught us being a little too comfortable because we weren't home, and you, you've got to step on the floor and, and produce every time they, they play. Especially no matter home or away, let's see the Spurs can get back on the winning side of things and continue the undefeated record in the MIAC. For more on NSU's men's basketball, boys find it right here.